Apes and Monkeys. Gorillas. Gorillas in Africa are the biggest apes. They have stout bodies with long arms, which they use to knuckle walk. Gorillas are herbivores, plant eaters munching on stems, twigs, and leaves. They live in small groups led by the males called silverbacks. Leaders protect their families by pretending to attack. They stand up, rip up bushes, yell, and pound their chests. Baby gorillas are cuddled by all the females and they sleep next to their mothers. When the mother wakes up, the baby jumps on her back and rides along. Young gorillas like to wrestle, slide down grassy banks, and climb trees. The big gorillas sleep on the ground. Youngsters and females snooze in the trees. Chimpanzee. Chimpanzees are clever apes and can use simple tools. They live in African forests and tribes. A male, not the strongest, but the most expert, leads each group. Chimpanzees spend most of their time caring for the young grooming and looking for fruits, leaves, and insects to eat. When it gets dark, they scamper up the trees to sleep. Mothers keep their babies close for three years. When the mother moves, her baby hangs on her furry lap. Later, little chimps ride piggyback. When they're big enough, they walk beside their mothers. A baby chimpanzee may suck its thumb, just like a little girl or boy. Gunans. Gunan are African monkeys that live in groups of about 40. They have tough skin on their bottoms and can sit on tree branches where it's safe. The mothers cling to their babies as they swing through the trees. Vervet gunans eat insects, lizards, and fruits. They scream out an alarm if a leopard, eagle, or snake is nearby. The putty nose gunan of the forest is very gentle. Debraza's gunans live along river banks and eat tropical lizards called geckos. The dwarf gunan is the smallest African monkey. It lives in swampy forests. Mustache gunans like thick forests. They hang out in high trees and eat only fruit. Mandrill. Mandrills look like apes, but they are actually the largest monkeys. Their bright face colors are quite remarkable. Mandrills live on the edge of the forest. They spend most of their time looking for roots, fruits, plants, insects, worms, frogs, and lizards to eat. They talk to each other with grunts and cries. Mandrills live in tribes with a male leader. He defends them from enemies like leopards, large snakes, and eagles. When a male mandrill sees a, an enemy, his face, chest, and hands become even brighter. He flings out his arms, tips back his head, and opens his mouth to show his long, sharp teeth. Even leopards get scared. Look at its long teeth. Colobus monkey. The colobus is one of the most beautiful monkeys in Africa. A newborn colobus is all white. Then its fur changes over time to a soft black with white trim. The colobus lives in the treetops. It is shy and gentle. It scurries away from branch to branch at the first hint of danger. Baboon. The baboon is a big monkey that lives in large tribes in the African grasslands. A baboon walks on all fours on the palms and soles of its feet. Every day, these monkeys may walk three miles looking for grasses, roots, insects, and small animals to eat. They take time to groom each other, which makes their friendship stronger. Orangutan. Orangutans of Asia are the world's largest tree-dwelling animals. These apes use their long, strong arms to swing from one tree to another without touching the ground. Their name means man of the forest. 
An orangutan's face shows feelings such as fear, happiness, and sadness. Orangutans are very clever. They use big leaves as umbrellas when it rains. Orangutans don't live in tribes. They like to live alone in the rainforest. They eat fruits, leaves, small animals, and eggs. Mothers only have one baby at a time. They look after each baby for six or seven years. Gibbons are lively apes. They have round heads and flat faces that look almost human. And they walk upright on two legs. Gibbons have long arms and they swing easily through the trees. A gibbon's arms are so long they touch the ground when a gibbon is standing up straight. Like all other apes, gibbons do not have tails. The siamang is a large gibbon about three feet tall with black fur. It has a sack of stretchy skin on its throat. This sack helps it make loud cries that can be heard miles away. Proboscis monkey. The proboscis monkey gets its name from the male's big nose. Proboscis means snout or nose. The large nose helps make the monkey scream even louder. Females are smaller than males, but both have tails as long as their bodies. These friendly Asian monkeys live along the coast or near riverbanks. They eat leaves, fruit, and flowers. They spend most of their time in trees, but they are also great swimmers. Some have been, swimming, been seen swimming in the sea far away from the coast. Longers. Longers are also called leaf monkeys because they eat so many leaves. They have long slender hands and feet and long tails. Hanuman longers are the most common monkeys in India. They are excellent climbers and jumpers. They often live close to humans and hang out around old, old temples. Indians even train them for street shows. Each kind of longer has its own look. The spectacled longer has pale skin around its eyes. It looks like it's wearing spectacles, glasses. The white bearded longer has thick white fur on its cheeks. It is quick. It can run 20 miles an hour. The dock longer lives in the rainforest. It can live for 30 years, but there are very few left in the wild. Golden snub-nosed monkey. This rare monkey has a lovely thick soft coat of golden red. It gets its name from its short, stumpy nose. It lives in trees and can be found in bamboo forests as, of China, as far up as snowfields in the mountains. Local people call this animal the snow monkey. Howler monkey. The howler is the biggest monkey of the Americas. It can weigh up to 20 pounds. This monkey screams or howls to say, this is my land. The screams are so loud. They can be heard as far as three miles away. The howler monkey likes to stay in trees, moving from branch to branch. What do you think a howler monkey would sound like? Spider monkey. Spider monkeys of South America have long, thin arms and legs. They are great gymnasts in the branches. They can zip from branch to branch and jump as far as 40 feet. Their long tails work like hooks and are very useful for picking fruit. Tamarin. The tamarin is a small monkey. It has a mane of white around its face. When a male fights, his mane stands up to make him look stronger and taller. What's another animal you know that has a mane? Hmm, think about that. Squirrel monkey. Cute little squirrel monkeys live in tribes in the treetops. As they jump, they use their long tails for balance. They crack walnuts and eggs by smashing them against branches. Owl monkey. Owl monkeys are the only nocturnal, active at night, monkeys. They live in small family groups. During the day, the family sleeps side by side in hollow trees. Woolly monkey. The woolly monkey sleeps high up on a branch. It wraps its long tail around its body and the branch so it won't fall off. 
Good night, monkeys. We just read an awesome story about apes and monkeys. Remember that the main idea is what the story is all about. To do that, to figure that out, I might look at the cover. I might see some monkeys. I might read the title, Apes and Monkeys. The main idea must be apes and monkeys. Remember that key details are things that we read in the story, things that we learned, things that support that main idea. So I want you to turn to somebody you're reading with or get out a piece of paper and write down or tell your buddy one key detail from the story, one thing you learned. I know you can do it. I hope you enjoyed the story.